Just wanted to talk about the movie from Dust Till Dawn 2, Texas Blood Money. This is such a piece of shit. It really is. I mean, it's such a forced sequel, because the last movie, <clears throat> you know, Quentin Tarantino's character died, um, you know, George Clooney and the girl at the end, they go their own separate ways, so there's really nowhere you can go. But of course, they had to force a sequel anyway. Um, and like, it's like they don't even have vampires in this movie that much. I mean, you mostly see bats. And like, they just look fucking crappy. And like, it's like, oh, I'm being artistic because I can do push ups and film the fucking movie like that. It's so annoying. Like, no, you suck. This film is a piece of garbage. Plain and simple. Um, I mean, I really didn't expect much, but it's just not good. Like, at all. Like, I mean, they have fucking Danny Trejo again in this movie. It's like, he does anything just to fucking, um, you know, do a movie. He'll do a movie for anything these days. Um, and like, I mean, you do get vampires here and there. It's just... It's trying to be the first movie with the with the look of how they look. It's just it comes off like shit. They don't look good. Um, and like I said, the bats, they have mostly bats in this movie. And it's like... The bats look horrible. Like, the effects are complete garbage. And they don't even mention, from what I know, the Twitty Twister. Or, you know, even... You know, Quentin Tarantino's character or George Clooney's character. Like, it starts out with, you know, the guy from Terminator 2. And he's watching on the screen of these people getting killed. And then, you know, they get killed. And then now the vampires are all over the place. And, like, it's just not a good fucking film. Like, it's just completely unwatchable fucking shit, you know, I'm not even, I don't even know if I'm gonna bother trying to watch the third one, because, it's just, if this is bad, I'm sure the third one is even worse, I might watch it just for, you know, see how it is, it, you know, you never know, it could be a good movie, it's just, this is just fucking horrible, um, like I said, it just feels completely forced, completely unneeded, so fucking... Robert Rodriguez obviously didn't come back to direct this movie. I mean, and it just it shows. I mean, they're trying to capture that feel that the first one had. I mean, there's a few scenes here and there that are decent, but it's just, you know, it's just lame. You know, it's just a really lame-ass movie. Lame-ass effects, lame-ass characters that really doesn't do shit for me. Like, it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't do anything that's remotely entertaining. Like, the first movie, it had awesome fucking characters for me. And it had really cool fucking effects and really awesome fucking... Just a really explosive, badass ending that you didn't expect. This movie, well, yeah, the vampires are in it. You know they're in it, and that's it, you know? But there's barely any vampires in it, so it's like, why? You know, why make this movie? I guess the cash in on the name, but I just didn't like it. I didn't fucking, you know, Danny Trejo, you know, I thought he was dead in the last one. You know what's funny, though? I forgot to mention in my review of the first one, fucking Cheech or Chong, Chong, I think it is. He was like three other characters in the first movie. So I guess that's not really a bad, bad thing that, you know, Danny Trejo was another character in these movies. It's just he's a vampire, and then he gets end up killed, but... It's just, it looks fucking cheesy and lame and bad. Um, and, like, you know, then you got this other guy. I remember him from Breaking Bad. Like, I think it was, like, the second season or the first season. He was in Breaking Bad. And, like, he's just a typical dude, you know? Like, but he ends up... Like, there was this cool scene where you thought he was going to end up getting killed by a vampire because the chick in the shower, which was that shower scene, was such a fucking ripoff of Psycho's shower scene. I don't know if that was deliberate, but it was such a ripoff of that. And, like, the guy is trying to fight off against the vampires, and he ends up surviving, but then 
he fucking jumps out the window, and then the other vampire comes and eats him. And it's like, you go through all that just to have him get killed? That was a cool scene, but... Really? Um, but yeah. I didn't like this movie. I thought it was completely unneeded. The characters were lame. The, 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 the whole overall just... Idea of this movie was just completely pointless. It really was. It was just a pointless movie that really served nothing. It really goes nowhere. I'm sitting there bored out of my mind because nothing's happening. I mean, you have some shit, but it's mostly them in hotel rooms and, like, you have the, the, the dude from Terminator 2 in there. And it's just, he sucked too. I mean, I just didn't like this film. I might watch this, the third one. Like I said, I might also check out the sequels. I mean, the, the TV show. But, yeah, um, this was a bad movie. Um, really shitty characters, really forced. They don't mention, you know, the characters from the last movie, which I would have liked to know where'd she go. You know, maybe she went out. You know, the girl from the first movie, that when they went their separate ways, it would have been cool to see her going back to the Titty Twister where all those... Remember at the end of From Dust Till Dawn when there was like those... that When they look at the back of the bar and then there was like that big-ass fucking, like, burial thing with, like, a bunch of fucking... Maybe more vampires there. Maybe she goes back there and kills the rest of them. What happened with that? You know? They don't even go into that. But, yeah. This wasn't a good movie. Really shitty. Like I said, I might check out the third one. But from what people say, it's even worse than the second one. But, I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a chance. Um, But, that's pretty much all I gotta say on this film. Like I said, I think it sucks. But... If there's someone out there who enjoys it, that's their opinion. But, that's really all I have to say. Thanks for listening, and peace.